Hello, okay, my YouTube worldwide friends. Today we are going to fit the clutch slave cylinder to a Yamaha VMAX 1200, 99 Gen 1. Couldn't find any videos on YouTube of anybody doing it, so I thought I'll give it a go. I'm not a mechanic. No, 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 not a mechanic. Just 37 years of owning and working on bikes. So don't take everything I say is gospel. You might have other views, different ways, etc, etc. Don't worry about it. This is just information. And if things go wrong, you can see the mistakes I make. And then you don't have to make them. Awesome. Uh, also, what I've done is, as the bike, as you undo the bottom bolt on the oil cover case, oil is going to run out. So you need a bolt to catch it. But what I've done, I've actually put the bike... I put a piece of wood just under the centre stand. Let's see in there. So the bike is now leaning at a slight angle. She's leaning away from me. So obviously most of the oil is running back to the other side. So that should work like. So what we got here is two choices. Two choices. You can either build the sleeve cylinder rebuild kits, which change the seals and uh, little spring and whatever's inside. But then I thought, well, if it goes wrong again, I've got to buy another gasket and some more washers. That's over 20 British pounds. So I bite the bullet. I went for Yamaha parts. So, there's your two crush washers, there's the little washer for the bottom bolt, you'll see afterwards. And there's my new sleeve cylinder. All ready to go. That's how it sits in that. Yeah, the hose goes there, and that's what pushes the rod through the engine. Marvellous. Okay. Okay, so your clutch sleeve cylinder is down in there. There's your bleed nipple, this is your clutch break, uh, clutch hose, braided one. So you have to, according to the Ings manual as well, move the foot peg, move the gear selector. I've put a little line down here, position, little felt mark, so I know put it back on in the same position. As you can see, it's a couple of bolts, lots of Allen keys, and then you should be in there somewhere. So let's have a look. So you've got two 12 mils, two 12 mil bolts in here. Get the old ratchet out. Let's do that first. Foot peg off, happy days. Ten mil. Okay, so you can't take them off until you remove that bracket. So we need to move that with the Allen spanners.
pass that off happy days so also get yourself a piece of cardboard draw a rough picture where the boats are blah blah blah, blah. so you never get them wrong because guaranteed they're all going to be different lengths so you've got a pretty picture with your O's arrow marking up so as I take them out now I can put them all in there so now I'm going to get a bowl because I'm going to catch any mess that comes out of the casing right okay let's get the rest of these iron bolts out then got my bowl in place just in case any muck comes out of that one you can see it hasn't been changed because it means replacing that little washer so whoever's put stainless in there can change that one but I've got a washer and I'm bound to have a stainless bolt to put in there just hold him out Me cardboard. Okay, love. Love you. Next one round. one this is the one where it's got a ceiling washer you might get something from now a little bit of drippage there you go she's starting to leak yeah leakage right i'll put that one in here but i am going to change it for stainless for the difference prettier with your now we need to get this casing off ah, quite easy yeah, make it hard yeah oh it's a long while quite a bit of oil okay one casing off bit stuck there look that's not too bad actually that's going to clean up all right though this okay let's put in the let's put in the there a second okay i'm gonna get some rags and get a blade and then do some cleaning up and get some paper towel to dry all this off very very mucky i just to update you i found a stingless one replace the black one there is with a new washer on so i'll put that back in the card i'll go all matching stained glass now very nice lovely lovely very nice very nice okay as you can see from the new one you've got the two bolt holes obviously this sits in here so right down in there are the two iron bolts all the way down there so a little bit of a fiddle obviously you need long allen keys to get in there to remove them and then pull him out and we'll be able to take the hose off then so now we'll go with that now okay what a fuss what an absolute fuss you take the bolts out in there you've got to wiggle him under here through this hole there there it is out but what a fuss what an absolute bell end hell of a job hell of a job but just let you know under the two bolts up in there and you're going to wiggle him out under the corner here move the cables and wires and other bits of the way right so that's that done oh absolute ass of a job that is getting that out there's the new one in there but those iron bolts are right down in here and there's one up the top there and it's really really fiddly guys 
getting it back in, you got this metal clip here and all these cables and bits and everything. You gotta get all them out of the way to wiggle it out through your it's just very fiddly, you can do it, you just gotta be patient, but man, what an absolute mare. There's an adapter, 14 mil, about inch and a half long adapter, so you need a copper washer on the other end. And put him, and this is where the clutch hose goes on to then. So you gotta take the adapter off the old one and put him on there. But he's in anyway, done, tightened up. Lovely job. Onwards, upwards. Just to show you what I'm doing here. Got a tiny little flat blade screwdriver and just clean up the face. You got all the little bits of gasket and stuff on there. Be gentle. If you don't want to drop any bits inside. Just gently, gently scrape them off. Because it's a bit oily, they stick. Them off like that. Very time consuming, but you've got to get a good seal with the gasket. Clean it off with a nail up. Marvellous. Mechanic hands. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Be back in a moment. Right. So clean both surfaces up. Nice and clean, ready for the gasket, and cleaned all that as well. Give it a wash with um, brake cleaner. So spray them off, and then give them a good wash and everything. So the surface is all really good for the gasket. So I'll put the gasket on and uh, fit it back on. I don't know if you can get pattern gaskets, but I went for the genuine yam. I don't want no bloody leaks or any problems at all. Okay. Where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Lovely. All lines up nice. Two doubles. See the two doubles on you? Oh, they line up really nice. Okay, bolts in and everything back on, peg back on, key levers back on and uh, bleed the clutch time. Bleeding the clutch, oh joy of joy. Right, you don't want to be putting the bolts in and everything back on, that simple stuff. And we bleed the clutch. Lovely job. Marvellous. Right, so everything back on. Marks are lining up on my uh, gear selector. It's back on, everything's tight. Um, all done, gas is on. So that's him. That's the biggest part of the job done. Bleed the clutch, remember there? Standard bleeding procedure and anything special. Top the fluid up at the top, squeeze the lever, blah, 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 blah. All done. Happy days. That's how you do a slave cylinder on a VMAX. Didn't enjoy myself, but that's how you do it. Any other stuff I'll be doing, I will do some more videos. Take care, have fun. Bye bye.